Hello, hi and welcome to another great webinar brought to you by Movi. As always, we love to bring you these talks and discuss some of the trending topics from the world of streaming and OTT. My name is Aditya and I'm the corporate communication manager at Movi and I'll be your host today. Now this edition is special for us. You may be wondering why. Well, it gives me immense pleasure to announce that Movi Live, a live streaming product has won the 2022 Streaming Media Reader's Choice Awards in the live streaming service category. Movie Live was selected as the winner and received the top position amongst other industry players like High Vision and Vimeo coming in as runners up in the same. The award is presented to the best streaming products and services in the online video industry selected and went voted by end users. This means this is the only award program in the online video industry where the winners are chosen by people who use these products and services on a daily basis. We at Movie would like to thank all of the all of people who have taken the time to nominate us. We are here to set high standards within our category and within our community. This award is also a testimony to the relentless effort and hard work put in by my fellow Movians in creating such world-class enterprise products. Now, before we start, I would request the audience to keep posting the questions in the Q&A section only. We will address them at the end of the session. With this, I would like to take the opportunity to give you a quick overview of Movie. Founded in 2011, Movie is headquartered in New York and was founded with a vision to disrupt the global audio and video streaming market. Today, we stand as one of the leading players in the streaming platform service space. So much so, we were recently awarded the badge for the highest rated platform on G2.com. G2.com is the world's leading software review website. Over the years, the team has developed some world-class products with, with several more in the pipeline. Our key product, Movie One, offers an end-to-end -end solution to launch your own customizable, agile, and scalable OTT and live streaming platforms with zero coding. Now, having spoken about our domain expertise, let's get on with today's webinar. Now, embracing the power of cloud has become inevitable to succeed in today's digital era, especially when organizations are increasingly migrating their applications to cloud to drive growth. Cloud computing has benefited many enterprises by reducing cost and allowing them to concentrate on their core business competence rather than IT and infrastructure issues. And efforts are being made to expand it beyond current limitations like security and privacy. According to Gartner, According to Gartner, worldwide spending on the public cloud services is forecasted to grow up to $494.7 billion in 2022, which is up from a $410.9 billion in 2021. It's said that by 2023, end users will be spending, uh, and sorry, my, my apologies. By 2023, end user spending is expected to reach nearly $600 billion. That is more than 45% of the IT spending will shift from traditional solutions to the cloud. Now, despite such heavy spending on the cloud, one in every three organizations will fail to realize its true benefits. That is, 33% of organizations have already seen no or very slight improvement in their organizational effectiveness after cloud adoption. As cloud adopt migration is a complex and costly affair, how do you avoid such cloud project failures? Well, the answer lies in a proper planning and selecting the right cloud migration approach for your IT assets. And by the end of this webinar, we aim to give you a better understanding of a suitable cloud migration strategy and to help you create a path of migration and smoothly transition to the cloud. So let's get started. Joining us today is Gayadar Killer, Director of Engineering Customer Success of Movie, to guide us on more on this topic. With over 11 years of industry experience across various domains, Gayadhar is a part of Movie's core engineering division and is responsible for the platform's core architecture, development, and stability. Having worked at Movie for over seven years, Gayadhar serves as the Director of Engineering, Customer Success, and Professional Services. His domain expertise lies with streaming technologies for audio, video, and live, and to stream and is skilled with several technology stacks with AWS Cloud, Microservice Architecture, PHP, MySQL, jQuery, and JS. So without further ado, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome Gayadhar and thank him for taking out time to conduct this webinar. Thank you so much, Gaya. Now over to you. Thank you, Aditya, uh, for the nice introductions and uh, the market brief. Uh, that gives a brief idea about our topic and uh, today's market. Um, uh, uh, hello, everyone. Uh, once again, welcome to the webinar. 
uh, I would quickly go through. Uh, I'm having few slides. Quickly go through that. I will hardly take 15 to 20 minutes on uh, on uh, on the slides. Having said that, in the meantime, uh, like while going through the slides, if you are having any questions or queries, please keep posting uh, in our Q and A section as Aditya has mentioned about that. Okay. Uh, so moving on to our today's webinar, uh, uh, like migrating to movie. However, it is specific to movie, but like the broader uh, topic is um, in your business, it is very essential um, for a business to take a decisions on migrations. While you are quite comfortable with a platform and you want to switch your applications or switch your entire business from one application, one platform to another platform, which is a very tough uh, decisions to take. But having said that, uh, the toughest decision is uh, to your business needs. Movie helps you out over there with a lot of expertise. Uh, as I have mentioned, uh, this project can be tricky, needs well-established and seamless process just to get things correct and make the migration process successful. Movie team has completed numerous migration projects uh, in past, starting from uh, like migrating uh, uh, migrating lot of customers from different leading cloud service applications or platforms uh, in uh, likes of Kaltura, Brightcop, Vimeo, Beat, IBM Cloud and others. Um, the best USP of movie is having uh, is uh, like a, during the entire migration process movie didn't charge anything for the subscription so during that period your subscriptions would be paused uh, unless until your migration process gets completed and you are fully uh, uh, running your service at home so uh, that comes to expertise uh, like a, uh, movie has uh, a leading 10 plus years of industry streaming expertise uh, in the in terms of technology uh, leaderships in operational excellence movie has 250 plus uh, members uh, who are wholly or uh, wholly or solely are responsible for the entire core platform so this entire product uh, consists of 250 plus um, uh, engineers um, and uh, this entire platform is built up with a uh, thousand plus features which suited your business needs um, for which you are taking a decisions to migrate your uh, applications or platform from one source to another. Yeah. Moving on, on to few key, key areas on, on migrations. Um, the main component is migrating from any platform. What all component needs to be considered and what all things you as a business owner need to take care of or need to uh, think of uh, while doing any kind of migrations. Uh, migrating data from any custom built OTT platform or cloud or any other online platforms uh, like SAP, uh, Kaltura, Brightcar, Vimeo, Beat, YouTube, IBM Cloud, anything. So what all steps or what all uh, different aspects you need to consider. Uh, uh, take into considerations. Uh, there are a few things uh, which you need to take uh, into consideration as fully managed service. The data transfer need to be safe and secure because it involves a lot of information uh, like starting from your assets which is your proprietary uh, be it a video, be it a audio uh, start migrating users where like their transactional information get involved uh, another uh, best uh, like another uh, important aspect is zero downtime where the downtime uh, like where the business continuity uh, the next point is is about with business continuity which is like a sub uh, point to this zero downtime uh, uh, aspect zero downtime means your business can go smoothly from one platform to other another platform without any uh, downtime so that leads to business continuity without disrupting your business you are seamlessly migrating one application from one platform to another platform and the most important thing is key post migration also you need an extended uh, support which movie provides uh, during the entire process okay moving on to our next slides um how the process works 
um like when you take a decisions uh, migrating your applications from one platform to another or one cloud service to another so the entire uh, process has been illustrated with with a very simple workflow doc, uh, workflow diagram uh, so i'll i'll quickly explain that uh, in the meantime if you come across any questions please keep posted it in the in the q and a sections i would answer that like you, uh, at the end of the session so let's say you are having your applications on a third party uh, sorry on a uh, service provider uh, which is either beamio kalpura brightcap uh, uh, or any other platform and like these are the leading platforms or these are the leading ott solutions providers uh, they are having their apis or webhooks which movie can uh, configure uh, with with the predefined api or webhook just to migrate data from their shows to movie's custom data parser where movie will parse all those data and process it and save it uh, in, into the movie's uh, a movie's database with the predefined architecture that, that has been defined or predefined format that you defined on your uh, for your applications at home this would be an automated process because api and webhook can work seamlessly uh, in, a, in a automatic manner where your data sync can go hand in hand without your intermission uh, like you added your informations over all these platforms and it automatically gets sync to your movie applications so in that case uh, no you don't need to bother about anything on the data migrations from one platform to another platform having said that these are the uh, like these are the platforms where all these things are available like api or webhooks just imagine like uh, you are in a platform or you are having your own cloud solutions where you didn't have any api or webhook solution in place then in that case what do you need to do just to migrate your data from your existing application existing platform to the new platform yeah there movies uh, movie comes into picture a movie has uh, it's a uh, uh, a uh, movie has a team who helps uh, helps you out over there uh, creating a, a manual data processing um, uh, uh, we can say manual data processors where uh, it, it is part of our support team they create a team they they will create all this data sheet manually and process those data and uh, once that data sheet is prepared they will pass it to the processor and that processors will will uh, like parse those data and put it in in the movies inventory so that like those data can be used for your applications whatever you are uh, going live with with movie so uh, both both options are there be it uh, like with the automated way be it manual movie helps you out in both scenarios uh, we are having experience in in doing that and we help you out over there okay and uh, the next thing is ki what are different migration scenarios that we supports this is very essential and unique uh, which movie supports migrating your entire platform uh, like you can entirely migrate your website mobile and tv applications to movie uh, like any platform from where uh, like platform like your your own custom build ott solutions or cloud solutions to any leading existing uh, ott solutions provided be it automated be it manual so both way you can entirely migrate your applications from the existing cloud solutions to the uh, movie applications and it is most importantly seamless and hassle free you don't need to bother a lot of lot about all this migration process movies engine will take care of that so this is the default migration which is available out of the box and along with that um, these are the usp where a movie comes into picture the most uh, migrating uh, like mobile uh, and tv apps keeping your existing cms what it means uh, i would like to stress upon on this points um, what it means uh, you build your uh, like a custom ott solutions which is up and running as smoothly for a very long period of time and you don't want any disruption over there but however you want at the same time create mobile or tv applications for which uh, probably you need movies help just to delivering all these apps to you there also um 
if if you decided that and if you want uh like movies applications is to deliver on on these areas then in that case probably movie need data migration from your existing source uh, to movies applications because movie works on its own architectures so that means uh, whenever you are having your existing cms we can build a engine uh, where like your data can be automatically migrated or automatically synced from from your applications to movies applications and movies application will independently work uh, for the mobile or tv applications which you subscribed for so this is one type of migrations where your website or your web application will go hand in hand through your uh, cloud solutions and movie will independently manage all other applications be it mobile or tv application yeah the third solutions which movie provides is uh, migrating movie to your on premises server uh, it is not exactly on premises server it is uh, on the on premises solutions which consist of your own storage own cdn in that area that means um, you want to set up your business or you want to migrate the entire applications to or entire uh, uh, like solutions to movie but because of data security because of data uh piracy and uh, uh and and such constraints you want to manage your assets at your end so you will have your own storage you will have your own cdns so how movie will be helpful over there movie will create a integrations and it is pre-built integration with some uh, cloud solutions and if any new solution comes in then uh, there would be a custom solutions need to be prepared for that where will integrate it with your existing storage or existing cdn so that uh, your data and everything would be migrate means metadata users assets everything would be migrated to movie applications but your storage remains at your place uh, our cdn remains at your place and we will uh, uh, use those reference link for uh, your content streaming or uh, like if for uh, uh, for, for uh, your content storage and everything else so this is something uh, is uh, supported out of the box with some cloud storage but any cloud storage or any cloud cdn that can be integrated the architecture is uh, supported such a way yeah i think i'm covered with, with the migration scenarios uh, these are the three migration scenarios that are needed for any cloud solutions um, number one is this most important which most of the uh, provider probably supports, but number two and number three are the USB for mode. Yeah. Next is migration methods and, and processes. Uh, what all types of migrations methods are supported at movie? So there are basically three types of uh, migration methods that are being supported. Uh, CSV or Excel, which is very common and it is supported out of the box. It has a uh, in build data parser, input data parser, uh, we have a predefined uh, CSV or Excel, uh, uh, like a sample Excel or CSV available in our help article. You can download it, you can arrange your data accordingly, and uh, go to your CMS, put uh, like upload that uh, uh, Excel sheet or CSV file, and the input data parser will pass that data and it will preview all those data, whatever you put, and uh, it will ask you for confirmation just to. Uh, get the data uh, stored in into movies applications so the entire uh, flow would be um, like is seamless and uh, it didn't require any intervention from movie you can do it from your side because it is supported out of the box and very easy uh, with the supported help article and everything every associated uh, help tips are available in our CMS. Next is MRSS feed. The process remains same. You can generate a MRSS feed and you import it uh, from our CMS. It will have a preview window where you can preview your content and post your confirmations. All these things would be uh, get stored into a uh, movie's uh, database. Third one is, uh, this is something we support, uh, uh, like a, it is a custom build solutions. Probably movie provides that just to help uh, uh, customers for a hassle-free, for a uh, smooth migrations from one platform to another platform. 
just imagine ki you are having your own cloud solutions and where the data are not in the structure what it has been there uh, in movies uh, like predefined excel or csv in that case also uh, a movie provides that options you can come up with your data set we will uh, process those data sets and we will pass it and uh, we will create a custom uh, parser for that and uh, provide you a custom uh, solutions or custom interface where you can import those data in a periodic manner and uh, those data would be sync uh, periodic manner to the movie applications so this process is also seamless but the only thing is required a custom parser or uh, depending on your data set these are the three thing three methods which is supported by movie and uh, two are supported out of the box three is dependent on what data set you are having and what complexity of data is needed uh, means is need to be uh, sync okay i'm uh, moving on to our next slide what are the things we migrate uh, uh, sorry yeah uh, what are the things uh, we migrate what all things are in, in, in the migration process uh, mostly involved. So there are four major components in, in, in a migration a cycle. Uh, first one is content, second one is your user, third one is your configurations, fourth one is your template. I'll, I'll cover each one, uh, like I'll try to brief each one a uh, little bit. I just try to cover up all the areas. If I'm not able to cover, then please feel free to uh, post your questions on the Q&A session. Uh, content is in, in, in a OTT solutions, content is the most integral part. Um, so everything revolves around the content. So we can say content is the heart of the applications. Uh, so content migration is very essential. Content includes its, its metadata, its assets, its uh, related uh, associated informations uh, so all these things are related to content so in content migration we support both uh, its metadata uh, assets a beat poster uh, banner uh, its video audio everything uh, can be migrated in a single uh, group. so all these things are supported in content migrations Coming on to the user migration, this is again very integral part of this migrations because it involves a lot of other things uh, like uh, uh, things where transactional informations are very essential to be migrated. So user migration is basically divided into two parts. One is your uh, users like uh, free users or registered users who are not subscriber another one is subscriber so we can divide it in two ways non-subscriber and subscriber non-subscriber -sub non migration is quite easy uh, uh, give the information in a predefined format or give all the user information on a uh, csv or excel will do the uh, do the import uh, user import uh, through the script or the, through the pre-built uh, interface but uh, the subscriber migration is very tricky and it requires a lot of care because a lot of sensitive information need to be migrated a subscriber means a user who have purchased a subscription giving his card information and it is a recurring billing uh, so uh, it has two three uh, very important aspect involved number one is key the users sensitive information card information and uh, uh, users car detail transaction details are associated with them with this this migrations and and the second thing is since uh like this kind of transactions are recurring in nature so there is a business uh, impact also involved like if if i'm having thousands of users and i'm migrating to another platform and i cancel all these thousands users subscriptions so then that, that means i'm canceling thousands users business uh, for me which is which is a loss to me as an organization so they are also how movie is helpful uh, what do we do ideally uh, during subscriber migrations uh, we have some gateways like it it, it, it has uh, it has a dependency with the gateways what all gateway you are using does the gateway supports user migration from one platform to another platform with the tokens provided 
that is the gateway authenticate uh, this the token that has been generated for the user for platform x when uh, you switch to platform y um, so uh, since these are dependent uh, so when we do such subscriber migration we first validate if the gateway supports that or not we have some gateways which is already validated and we did subscriptions um, subscriber migrations which is stripe which is pre-built and readily available in movie and we did migration for other gateways in past but if you're having any new gateways uh, probably that need a little bit analysis and then we can do that migrations okay uh, so that is part of user migrations now coming into configurations configuration mostly include uh, your settings what all authentications you need do you need a 2fa two factor authentications do you need sms gateway integrations do you need uh, sso integrations do you what kind of reporting you need what kind of analytics you need such configurations is also important let's say in a in a applications i'm having a custom analytics build over there I want the same analytics to be built uh, here at movie. So that configuration needs to be migrated so that uh, it didn't give a different feeling that I have uh, migrated from another platform to uh, this platform where my reports are not as it was in the other platform. Fourth uh, thing is it is also an integral part uh, like template migrations. Template is nothing but like your front end, how you look your applications on front end. Uh, most of the cases, uh, since movie provides that uh, flexibility uh, through BIOD or through uh, BD editor, you would be able to customize your template or customize your front end applications. Having said that, some cases movie will help you out over there. If your existing template is built uh, as per movie's architecture, then you can uh, take a dump and uh, import it. But uh, most of the cases, uh, the architecture is not same. So in that uh, case, a movie helps you out over there. Uh, we can replicate the same template. We can do sm a small, small tweak just to give the same layout, give the same uh, look and feel to your template. So uh, there also we help you out um, uh, on your end-to-end -end, uh, template migration. Yeah, these are the basic four components on the, on the migration. Now moving on to our next slide. Yeah, so um, this gives you a brief illustration of the entire migrations. A movie has a very standard procedure to migrate your data from your existing platform to movie. Um, with, with, our, with, with our decades of experience, we have carefully curated the steps required to migrate your data from one application to other and what all steps involved. Uh, like you, with our experience, we come up with these numbers, we, we come up with this timeline so that uh, we can meet the worst case scenario and at the same time, we can meet the best case scenario. Uh, on worst case scenario, it can be migrated uh, within four, like four week on a best case, uh, sorry, on a best case scenario, we can, it can be migrated on four week. On worst case scenario, it can extend up to eight weeks. Because I hope uh, you all, all of you understand that it, uh, it involves what all data complexity you are having and what all things you are migrating from, from your existing platform to uh, uh, like a, any other cloud platform or a bit uh, movie. So steps are quite uh, like easily described over here. Uh, step one would be preparing your data migrations, uh, as, uh, which we should take a timeline around three to five days. Uh, and step two would be uh, use pre-built uh, import tool or prepare a custom script depending on your needs. Uh, if, you, if your data set is as per the uh, like a predefined format that has pre-built tool that is available with your movie, which you can do it on your end. Uh, movie probably doesn't need to involve over there, but it can go uh, like with a pre-built tool to uh, like a custom build solutions, uh, custom build script where it, we can do the migrations. So the time frame for that is uh, one to three weeks. If it is pre-built, then probably less than a week. If it is a custom script, then within three weeks, we would be able to derive the custom script uh, uh, just to uh, ready with, with the custom script to start the migration process. Step three is, would be just to make sure the data accuracy. We do a dry run uh, with sample data. 
uh, just to verify everything is, is in place, which would be less than a week time frame, uh, just to do the dry run. Then we validate uh, what we dry run that with the help of our QA, uh, validate what all data we have uh, uh, ingested to the system, is it is correct and everything is placed in place or not. Once we get the con uh, confidence and we take customer into confidence over there, uh, we give the customer that reference, you have a look into this, all these data are in place as per your requirement with your existing platform and the new platform. After that, we uh, lucky, uh, proceed with the final migrations. So it would be a, a one week job uh, because it required testing over there as well. So we can import the entire, like you can create the complete data sheet and uh, we'll import the data sheet over there and it can complete uh, a week uh, within a week uh, including all the QA effort and testing everything out number six uh, which movie provides uh, probably um, like one of the uh, one of the like a few service provider provider probably providing this or it is a unique solution uh, sorry it is a unique extended help that movie provides supporting extended go live support till ensure no runtime error occurs since we are involved in this migration process and we are saying we will give you a hassle free uh, migrations in that case uh, we give an extended support from our side uh, without you asking us to give that extended support we do that from our side and it get extended up to three weeks unless until you get any error uh, from uh, the data migrations uh, process already. Yeah, I'll lucky. Uh, I've already explained everything in, in the previous slide, but I will quickly go through the steps again, uh, just to uh, be on the same page. Preparing the data migration that is step one, which we uh, discussed in in our earlier slide. Uh, what we do ideally, we'll study your existing data format, location, and sensitivity. Once we have and understanding of the data, we define the scope of the data migration plan. So it is very clear uh, just to create any plan. It is very uh, essential to understand the uh, like either the, the data, uh, the, the uh, understand the data uh, complexity, what all complexity that is there in the, in the data. So, uh, so that we can plan it better so that we can execute it better and have a, a seamless data migrations. Use pre-built uh, tool in the in the step two, or uh, prepare a custom script. If the data falls under the default set of configurations, then the pre-built uh, like tool will be used. Else, we'll create a custom script. It would be used as a tool for importing the data. So that time frame I have told, like within three weeks of time frame, we would be able to build that custom script and make a temporary UI ready for like a temporary interface ready for your custom data import. Step three would be trial data migrations that we do just to make sure uh, what custom script or what pre-built uh, tool is there. It suffice, uh, like my use case as a business or uh, uh, as a customer, I, I would validate uh, my uh, trial data so that like uh, I'll, I'll take that in, into confidence for the next steps. Step four would, it, would be validating the sample data since uh, this is uh, critical data. As the process, we request uh, your in-house team to validate the data. Uh, we then alter the script or configuration based on the feedback before the final migrations. Yeah. So what we do ideally uh, during this validation uh, process, we take feedback from um, the customer or the business or uh, like a, uh, take into consideration if anything required modification over there we do that and we modify the custom script so that uh, like in the in the final uh, build or the in the final migrations those things are taken care of final migration is is nothing creating the data set and uh, like processing those data in batch uh, and, uh, and and at the end like a test do all kind of testing unit testing system volume and batch application testing to ensure all data migrated is correct secure and in the proper locations as it required step six would be extended go live support 
um we support till your platform is up and running smoothly and moving we offer fix number of days where we support you for any ambigu- ambiguities in the data post migrations so that is what i have explained in my earlier slide uh, we do it from our side till uh, like you have the confidence on, on the applications okay moving on to my next slide yeah Uh, why to choose movie one to migrate your platform there are uh, i will try to cover a four uh, major aspect but apart from that uh, there are a lot of other aspects like the way i have mentioned in my earlier slide on my past past slide thousand plus features are there uh, so these are the four major components mobile and tv apps uh, it is one of the usp uh, where movie enables you to launch your ott apps for mobile and tv across 16 plus ecosystems um starting from android ios roku fire tv vivo uh lg tv samsung tizen chromecast airplay apple uh, apple watch X- xbox playstation and windows so all these things are supported and pre configured at movie uh, you create uh, you import all your metadata assets in the into the systems and within days uh, we can build your applications and uh, make it ready uh, to be released <coughs> sorry just a second and uh, next uh, one would be multi drm and uh, piracy control movie one protects your video and audio content on your ott platform against illegal usage of downloads so that would be only possible through a drm um, and movie uses drm formats such as wide wide play ready and fair play um along with that uh, movie also uh, provides uh, movie has that solutions of drm watermarking um, it is uh, one more usp it is right now um, they are in, in in the applications uh, sorry they are in the, in the platform but Uh, it is a custom solutions if you need on on a, on a custom solution spaces then uh, movie provides that uh, so that is um, that is also part of this this solutions what movie provides online video players yeah uh, it is uh, customizable html5 video players uh, that supports watermarking uh, the addition of brand logo cross device browser compatibility subtitle picture in picture avod so everything is supported on the on the video player uh, you can use it uh, like as a as a estimate by video player keep 100% revenue uh, it is there uh, from the beginning whatever revenue earned from movie it is entirely yours movie never ever takes any percentage of subscription uh, like percentage of commission over there so the entire earning is uh, earning is yours but uh, movie only takes that uh, subscription fee along with the storage and bandwidth fee uh, once you exceed your free limit these are the major usp at that uh, movie are uh, like while choosing your application to be migrated from one platform to, sorry migrating to movie yeah so this is all about uh, like the entire migration process i will i am having few slides about movie i will quickly uh, go through that uh probably post that i will uh, i would be able to take up your questions uh so about movie uh, one uh, like the solutions the ott end to end solutions um customers from top studios clients across industries such as e learning broadcast health fitness lifestyle music e sports and telco uh like we are having customers across all these um like industries um along with that uh, movie one works with uh, like the uh, technologies like uh, uh, blockchain ai microservice having 5000 plus customers plus 200 plus employees i have mentioned in my earlier slides and uh, the most important thing is ki iso 20000 one certified uh, company uh, like movie one instant app across 16 plus platforms which i mentioned in my earlier slides also 
uh, starting from mobile, Android, iOS, Fire. Uh, these are the mobile applications uh, that are supported and, and TV, Apple TV, Roku, Android TV, Fire TV, LG, Samsung. Uh, so all these smart TV, LG uh, are supported. In, in gaming console, Xbox and uh, PlayStation, uh, so these are, these are supported. Desktop and other devices, Windows, uh, like your um, uh, iOS and Android desktop applications are also part of this movie one's offering. Some of our customers um, listed here, but uh, as uh, like I mentioned in my previous slide, 5,000 plus customers. But these are some of our leading customers, Yabo, MGM. Uh, I'm sure like you must have heard about MGM. MGM was come live recently. Uh, last month itself, uh, it is, MGM has gone live with Roku applications, which is uh, right now readily available on different locations like UK, uh, uh us and uh, i think there are a couple of other reasons which is available and uh, recently it is extending to australia as well a uh, walden university which is a, a leading uh, e-learning platform uh, intel is, is our cu customer canal plus mtn cmc harmon sony freshness uh, prime video Nike, MTEL. So these are all uh, like a few of our leading customers uh, who are part of movie uh, recently or in the past. On partnership also, uh, movie is having uh, 100 plus technology partners uh, starting from AWS, Google Analytics, Akamai, uh, Telford, uh, uh, Service Cast. Uh, these are some of the technology partners plus 50 plus marketing partners such as zoom japier hubspot mailchimp wordpress all this uh, are part of like our marketing partnership journey uh, 200 plus development partners uh, out of which uh, um, like payment gateways is, is one of them like 35 plus payment gateways are already integrated some of them are Stripe, Aden, Fastata, uh, Kodape, uh, and and uh, a lot more other um, like uh, 35 plus payment gateways are already integrated. So uh, that I have mentioned. Okay, uh, so I think I've covered almost all. So uh, this is nothing more ready to make the most of the uh, 2.6 trillion OTT market. Start your free trial, 14 day free trial now. Book a demo or try it free from your from our applications, movie.com. Yeah, now I'll uh, like the, uh, the Q&A session is open. Uh, over to Aditi. Thank you so much, Gaya. Uh, now, before we move on to the Q&A session, I would like to take a few minutes uh, to answer a quick poll now appearing on your screens. If you can't see the poll questions, uh, I would request the audience to please click on the poll icon at the appearing at the bottom of your screens. Uh, so, Gaya, while uh, the audience is uh, uh, answering our questions, uh, I, I just wanted to know, is there any particular challenging migration incident that you remember well? Uh, I, if you could explain what the challenge was and how was it mitigated? Yeah, Aditya. Thank you. Thank you, Aditya, for asking that. Uh, just, I just need, uh, uh, need a second, Aditya. Sure. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Aditya, for asking that. Um, as you have mentioned, I've, I've been there with movie for more than seven, uh, seven plus years. So in my past experience, uh, I have come across uh, with various migrations. Uh, some of the migrations which I remember, uh, like one of the industry leading uh, brand is Nike, for whom we did migrations, user migrations, uh, where in the initial stage, it was quite uh, shaky. Uh, 
will we be able to migrate all the users with uh, with this subscription information uh, what will happen to their business continuity uh, but eventually we created like as as i mentioned in in my slides uh, since we built this process in and and uh, we created this process and it is in place uh, what we did uh, like we we focused the entire process to them and we start the entire migration and over the period of time uh, when the migration gets completed and everything like you're starting from user uh, mostly the user migration was was a major concern uh, because it has subscriber and non subscriber users are there right. so once we are done with the user migration with the existing subscriptions uh, nike was very uh, like pleased with, with this uh, migration process and in the entire migration process uh, it was quite hassle free no user get cancelled uh, during this this migration process their subscription get continued as it is from their older platform to the to uh, this existing movie platform right. so this is okay. one example and another one is uh, recently we are working with simply south where that uh, like they are having uh, thousands of subscribers and uh, we we have uh, taken them into consideration like confidence uh, where we are migrating their entire user base uh, from their existing platform from their existing gateway to this new gateway uh, where uh, like all the subscriber would be migrated as it is uh, without disrupting their service uh, without disrupting their business and at the same time without disrupting their subscription number of subscribers so that is what two examples which uh, one is recent another one is earlier because that was the fast experience where uh, like we have migrated subscriber and customer was quite happy and that is also one of the leading uh, brand in the industry absolutely thank you so much gear for uh, you know giving the answer uh, we'll start on with the q and a session uh, i can see all the questions pouring in from several uh, of our platforms we are also live on facebook and uh, linkedin right now uh, we have users joining in and answer, asking questions i'll uh, we'll start with a few uh, easy ones and then we move on to the uh, complex questions right uh, so the first right. question uh, is does movie provide a paywall uh, yes uh, i'm mean, sorry i'm answering on your behalf yeah uh, and uh, the second question is movie support uh, uh, drm integrations from third party solutions or do you have your own drm solutions no movie movie provides drm solutions from third party uh, we are currently using palican as our drm service uh, provider so yeah that's the that's the case uh, right now palican is our drm service provider right uh, the user also wants to know does movie have its own uh, ott web or platform app or mobile app and stb app or should they develop uh, or should uh, the audience develop its own um probably i didn't get the questions very clearly but i will try to answer that if if it didn't answer like if i'm not able to answer it correctly probably uh, we can take the uh, take this questions uh, over email i will try to answer that again uh, so if i understand it correctly does movie has its own ott application i mean its own ott app uh, since movie is uh, not a content uh, like a creator or not provide any content movie didn't have any content movie provide the applications or movie provides uh, you that uh, options where you can come up with your content and create your own applications movie provides that platform uh, everything is readily available you come here you create your uh, uh, like content you create your users you migrate your users uh, you uh, like you upload your assets and go live and all these applications whatever we mentioned 16 plus apps plus website it can go live instantly we can give a app delivered in one day time frame uh, and we, the uh, web application is instantly live on the uh, day you take a subscription or a day you take a free trial you can see your front end applications upload your content create your monetizations you go live with that so it is readily available out of the box uh, so, hope that answer the questions. Sure, okay. Uh, thank you so much. The next question is pretty interesting. Uh, the user is asking when, when you're when you're doing user migrations, are passwords transferred as well? 
uh, so when a platform changes and hops onto movie are users uh, are, the, are the user login seamless is the user login seamless yeah thank you for asking a very valid questions and uh, uh, this is this is something uh, like a part of that user migrations uh, and this is one of the sensitive informations i think password migrations unless until your existing uh, platform provider uh, has the same encryption what do we do uh, then like the password can be migrated as it is or else the existing uh, service providers password if uh, know how to decrypt uh, the password in that case the password can remain same but most of the cases it is not the case means uh, uh, if you are using your own cloud solutions or any other exist uh, any other uh, market uh, uh, readily available or the solutions then their password encryption cannot match with ours and we would we won't be able to decrypt their password so in that case there are two options that are given to a uh, customer or users number one uh, we set a common password for them uh, depending on on a uh, create a rule for that and uh, define a common password format and right. reset the password and a second one is uh, there is a reset password option when someone log in to, to the new systems a customer would, like user would be asked to reset their password first then log in to the system so both the options are available and we did it for uh, like we did both of uh, both uh, the things for uh, like customers in in our earlier migrations absolutely uh, the next question guys is uh, from a social media feed uh, the audience wants to know how do you how do enterprises decide if their current system is working for them or do they really need an upgrade what are the signs they should be looking out for yeah it's it's a very good question sajwil uh, uh, it has a different aspects to consider uh, uh, i'd I'd, uh, i'll try to answer it on a, on a business way uh, if i'm a business owner and uh, i'm running my ott applications um, or i'm running my business on an ott then there are multiple things to be considered uh, the first thing is ki uh, if my business running smoothly in the existing applications uh, is my user happy with the existing applications uh, does the current applications provide what i need or uh, does the current applications provide the upgraded uh, features or upgraded solutions what the market trend is all about right now uh considering all these factors the business owner take a decisions uh since movie has 1000 plus features uh i think you have rightly mentioned in your uh, uh, slides aditya where uh, like movie is, is the number one ott solutions with uh, burst with with 1000 plus features absolutely so in that right. case it gives a as to uh, business owners to take a decisions since all these features are readily available Uh, and the migration process is hassle free and what i need if if, if uh, things are available with movie and at the same time uh, what i need if partially available and i can do customizations over there uh, and the time time frame is quite suitable to my business then probably i will i will take a decisions to migrate my application from uh, existing solutions to to the new solutions be it movie be it other applications as a business owner uh, it uh, it required uh these things probably into uh, into considerations before uh, like uh, taking a very strong decision thanks so much yeah the next question is uh, transitioning to cloud seems to like seems to be a very big move uh when should enterprises move to cloud and what are the strategies they should keep in mind for a successful implementation mm, yeah so uh, that that's correct right now like he uh, Uh, everything is is in cloud uh, uh the physical uh, server the physical storage is much more expensive than uh, than the cloud uh, solutions or the cloud uh, uh, solutions that are available in the market so uh, this is again depending on on my need depending on how much i spending on on my physical uh, like uh, physical uh, infrastructure or other solutions which is available and physically or locally uh, to me what all maintenance are there uh, so keeping all these things into into considerations i would take 
decision so do i need to move to cloud or like should i continue with with my uh, like existing physical instances or physical infrastructures so probably uh, Uh, since uh, the since I'm uh, like a, if I think of a business owner's perspectives, so these are the very major major component that needs to be uh, taken into considerations uh, before moving to cloud solutions. Absolutely, thank you so much, Jay. Uh, we have we are about to finish. We'll just take on a few last uh, questions that are coming in. Um, the first uh, question is: Is migration a part of uh, also a change of a sorry? Let me repeat the question. Migration part also change the subscription model. Oh yeah. So so does migration change the subscription model? That's what probably the audience wants to know. Um, like a uh, subscriptions model means uh, if I understand correctly, um, like you are saying in your existing platform, like let's say you are uh, like your recurring subscription pricing is. Uh, Let's say ten dollar, or uh, and uh, in the new platform you want to change it to let's say a twelve dollar or like fifteen dollar. So in that case, does it uh, like it does the migrations help over there? Um, I think it required a different authentications over there since the users uh, like uh, and and get to approval as well. So in that case, uh, the ideal solution should be go with. Uh, Uh, like the migration with the same plan or the same subscription package, and later on, once everything is migrated, you change the plan. Uh, where uh, you just need to resubscribe, re-authenticate in your existing platform. Where, uh, like you just like that auto authentication is is will not come come into pictures. Where user can conveniently um, like give their uh, thumbs up uh, to the new subscription plan. Right. Uh, the la- next question is how do enterprise how, as an enterprise how do i evaluate migrating systems or migrating platforms since there are so many to choose from yeah um see uh, there are different aspects uh, to to that as well uh if uh, if i have to consider um in in one of my slide which are like different migrations steps where i've mentioned the default migration would be entirely migrating from one system to another that is there uh, there are uh, like solutions like on premises and uh, uh, like the uh, partially migrated solutions partially migrated means uh, where you will run your cloud solutions uh, existing cloud solutions for some applications and for some other things like if for mobile or tv applications you need another solutions cloud solutions like movie who will only deliver your mobile and tv applications so in that case um, uh, it is it is uh, to me to take a decisions uh, if if i will uh, if i am happy with my existing cloud solutions then probably i will not migrate my web app, uh, uh, website or web applications rather i will go to uh movie or any other solutions provider for mobile applications for that also it required uh this data seeing the architecture need to be seeing uh like anything i update on my existing cms should automatically sync to the mobile applications uh, any content i update on my existing application should automatically sync to the mobile applications so that needs to be hassle then only i will i can take a decisions that is one part the other part is um i want to do everything from your applications but i am very skeptical about my content piracy or my assets piracy or my assets copyrights so in that case what i will take a decisions yeah i will go with this applications but uh, like the content uh, like the assets uh, video audio everything would reside on my premises be it a cloud be it a, a local Uh, storage be it on any any other store uh, storage or, or CDN so I will keep these things with me uh, you manage the entire applications through um, your systems and it will be streamed down from my uh, storage and my CDN uh, like the content would be streamed down which is my property so 
depending on my need i will take a decision i will go with the business model 3 uh, sorry i will go with the model 3 where uh, my assets is set with me and i'm uh, entirely managing the applications uh, from uh, like a solutions provider like Mobi. thanks yeah uh, just last uh, question uh, does movie solution support ad insertion according to scd markers yes great uh, and a few more questions for people who are joined in late yes uh, our webinar will be available on our youtube channel uh, please look out for the edited video in a day or two and uh, yeah so that uh, brings us to the end of the session we appreciate you for taking out time today to attend this session uh, and as a small token of appreciation we'd like to give out a small uh, give out an information brochure for you to view later the links will be appearing on your screen uh, if you have missed it you can click at the chat icon at the bottom uh, yeah, so this brings us to the end of today's session. We keep conducting webinars each month on some interesting industry topics and also showcases some of movie's best offerings. I would personally request all of our viewers to look out on our social media channels and the website for the registration link of our upcoming webinar. Once again, thank you for tuning in and allowing us to present you with more informative and valuating webinars. I would also like to thank the speaker for taking out time in conducting this informative webinar. Thank you, Gaya. And to learn more about Mubi and how we can help you on your video OTT streaming business journey, please reach out to us through any of our social media handles and we'll schedule a personalized demo with one of our streaming experts. With this, I bid my goodbye for today. This is your host Aditya signing off. Until next time. Thank you. Thank you Aditya. Thank you everyone. Thank you Gaya. Thank you.